It seems that it's 2 o'clock, so since we have a lot of material to cover, I'll introduce myself and get rolling. My name is Bill Whitlock. I am a fellow of the Audio Engineering Society. My background includes, well, I've been in professional audio since about 1972 when I became chief engineer for Quad 8, uh, once one of the premier consoles in the world. As I said, there are so many myths and so little time, as I sometimes say. So the whole subject of ground loops, hum, buzz, all these issues has taken on a bit of a black art, you know, that, that it's incomprehensible somehow and you need a, a, a mystic or guru to exercise your system of, of hums and buzzes. Well, that's not true. We're not going to get in any fancy math, no rocket science. This is all Ohm's law, simple stuff, but you have to realize how these things work. And the source is the distribution transformer over here. So this current will, will find a pathway back to this point. Well, the only path it's going to find now is this new quiet ground rod through the soil to this ground rod over here. Well, the resistance of this earth is going to be rather high impedance. So we'll still have most of the power line voltage between these two ground rods. The earth is going to get warm in between them because there's current flowing through it. And I'll guarantee that every worm in that soil is going to crawl out because they hate electricity. In fact, it's a good way to get worms if you fish a lot. It's just get a little hand crank generator and a couple of probes. Go cranking away and those worms will crawl right up out of the soil. Use the ground at the receiver as the reference point. Now, with respect to this ground, that device that's driving the line that may be 100 feet away has voltage on it. It's moving with respect to the zero over here. Well, through the references to ground in the circuitry inside, even in the absence of a signal, both of these output pins will be moving up and down together at that same remote noise voltage. Basically what happens with the pin 1 problem is remember we have these voltage differences between outlets. So if we connect cables between any of our boxes, they complete a current path for these currents to circulate. If I have a fraction of a volt difference between this ground and this ground, and you know there's an ohm or so of resistance in this whole loop, I could have hundreds of milliamps floating around in this little loop. Well, normally it would be okay. And in fact, in the old days, it was always okay. I checked today. They've got the fourth edition of this book out, but I wrote three chapters in this book. And it's a, it's good, it's a good collection of all kinds of acoustic stuff and electronic stuff. Thank you for listening to a small sample of this AES tutorial. To watch the full-length version, you can visit our AES tutorials page at www.aes.org/publications/tutorials.